Hi, I'm Mike Floyd. Uh, I'm a postdoc here at MIT in the EBS department and I am a geophysicist mostly concerned with using GPS as a tool for uh, measuring tectonic motions of plates, especially on the continents. Uh, I did my uh, PhD and undergraduate degree in, uh, in Oxford back in the UK. I did a first postdoc at the University of California in Riverside and I've been here at MIT for just over a year now. Uh, my research entails uh, a, a huge variety of things actually. I, I do uh, everything from field work including the logistics of where we're going to go, what measurements we're going to take, um, etc all the way through to uh, data management, data analysis processing and the final uh, analysis in terms of, of real earth uh, models. In terms of the field work what we do is we have a number of small marks on the ground. There'll be uh, a disc with a punch mark in it or a coin or a rod with a punch mark, something where there's a very specific point that we go and measure. Uh, and we return to that site uh, over and over again, make measurements with a very sophisticated GPS system, uh, antenna and receiver, and we can slowly track the movement of that point as, as the plate moves. So, a recent example of some work we've produced uh, looking at the potential for uh, earthquakes was in Azerbaijan in, in East Azerbaijan on the Caspian Sea coast and uh, really what we're looking at here is using a data set that has been acquired over the last 10 years or so to try to say something about what we think is going on in the area uh, in terms of, of, of the movement of, of, the, uh, of the plates in and around Azerbaijan. Okay, the Caucasus Mountains are really sandwiched between the Black Sea to the west and the Caspian Sea to the east there's two parts to the Caucasus Mountains as well. To the south there's the Lesser Caucasus Mountains and to the north there's the Greater Caucasus Mountains. And it's really the Greater Caucasus Mountains that we're concerned about here because uh, these are the mountains that we know have produced large earthquakes in, uh, in the last hundred years, at least if, if not more. And, uh, and, and Azerbaijan really sits uh, at the eastern end of the Greater Caucasus. The Apsheron Peninsula is fairly obvious. Uh, it's labelled AP here. It's the small peninsula that sticks out into the Caspian Sea uh, on the east coast of Azerbaijan. That's where Baku is. And that's where we're really concerned about the population centre. That's where a very large uh, gas and petroleum processing plant is as well. And um, the earthquakes uh, that, that track the Greater Caucasus Mountains also continue to extend into the Central Caspian Seismic Zone, CCSZ here, CCSC. Um, so if we just zoom in on the Apsheron Peninsula there, uh, you can see the network of sites that we have in red. They are the velocities uh, relative to Eurasia, we in the GPS community often speak about with respect to or relative to. What this basically means is that all of these sites, if I was to stand on Eurasia, all of them would be moving towards me in a northward direction. This means that there's contraction going on across this area. The contraction is what's built up the mountain ranges and the contraction is what we suspect is producing the earthquakes. Uh, or will produce potential earthquakes in the future. Now the major part of this work is that we want to know whether the continuation of the main central, sorry, the main Caucasus thrust fault which tracks the Greater Caucasus Mountains from northwest to southeast continues into the Caspian Sea or whether actually there is another fault that comes off of it and moves to the south through or underneath the Kura Basin and then continues offshore further south from Baku. These two potential faults uh, are both likely candidates, we suspect. They can both explain the data equally as well. Uh, but we need more evidence to really know what the 
what the ratio of significance for the, these two faults is, where the major hazard lies. Is it further to, no, to the north, near Baku, or is it further to the south, near the Kura Basin?